So pleased to be joined by Ben Pickle now from the Barry Colts and the former Pickering Panther. Uh, ben, you're playing with the Colts now. It didn't take you long to get into your OHL goal. We'll get into all of that. But uh, first, I just want to ask you, uh, what was it like playing for the, the Pickering Panthers? And uh, did you learn anything there coming into the OHL? Yeah, oh yeah, I learned uh, I learned a lot from the guys. Um, like just the step up from minor hockey it was uh, quite a bit of adjustment. Just uh, being with the older guys and the atmosphere, just uh, taking buses, and I uh, I really enjoyed that. And um, I like the coaches as well. They gave me uh, opportunity to play and develop, and uh, can't be uh, more thankful for for them. And uh, they set a good game plan for us, and we just had to execute. And I learned everything, a lot of new things every practice, and. Uh, it's just good uh, for the Pickering Panthers that uh, I, I went there for my development. Yeah, and I guess talking about the coaching staff as well, uh, your head coach used to play in the NHL and, and Rob Pearson, that's got a, he must have a few tips for you there too. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's always bugging me about something, but he, he's a good guy and I love having him on the bench. <laughs> So you're making the transition to the OJHL to the OHL. Uh, obviously, the OHL is an extremely high level of hockey. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the difference between playing in the OJ and now playing up with these guys with the very Colts in the OHL? Yeah, um, I think just like it's a bit, just a bit faster. I think the guys here, um, I would say it's a lot more skilled than uh, the OJ. I think the OJ is uh, like it's roughly about the same. I think uh, it's more physical back down in the OJ, but it's still uh, roughly the same. But I think here it's just it just just happens everything happens so quick and you just got to be ready for everything and it it wasn't too big of a jump but uh, playing in the OJ uh, for sure helped me uh, uh, make the jump. Getting your first OHL goal in North Bay, uh, how does it feel? Uh, take me through uh, what the emotions were going through your head when you got that goal. Yeah, um, it it was unreal to be honest. Like it's been a dream of mine for uh, since I started picking out my first stick. Um, you know, I just came off the bench. Uh, Clarky made a great feed to me. I was trying to find some open ice to get a nice shot off. And uh, he's pretty good. He's a pretty good player. So he, he could find me. And I just had to put her home. And it was just an uh, unreal feeling. The celly wasn't the best, but um, it, it was pretty good. So you got some family members as well on this team on the Barry Colts. Ethan Cardwell is your cousin. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, coming up and, and playing with him. And, and now you're with him at a high level. Yeah, um, it's, it's kind of surreal. Like, I just, I grew up watching him and, like, looking up to him. And now to finally get the chance to play with him and live with him right now, it's been a bit of a treat. So, like, I would train with him in the summer, too. So, it's just, he's always bugging me. And uh, we're trying to get each other better. So, he was trying to get me to this level. And um, I'm just thankful for what he's done for me. And it's been, uh, been a pleasure uh just doing uh, things with him, and he's a great guy to uh, look up to. I know you had some family members watching your games back in Pickering. You must have some people who are pretty excited to, to have you in the OHL playing for the Barry Colts and getting your, your first OHL goal back home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people who uh, are pretty excited, like old coaches, uh, like everyone, all my old teammates and stuff are uh, posting about it. So it's kind of got a smile on my face, and uh, it's been it's been good, yeah. Congrats on the goal, Ben, and thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.